about the trip so far. Hello <laughs> well, guys, here we are at Elishan Forest. We've arrived. This is what we get to look at. Look how pretty that is. Sarah found some really good donuts. She's waiting on, uh, I think they're about 200 Taiwanese dollars, which is around $6 for about 11. She's gonna load up on some. It was a really long line. Very busy. And is over there talking to the locals. It has a huge fan base, I should say. So there's so many people who just like her because she has blonde hair, blue eyes. Anyway, so this is what we get to look at. It's really pretty. Good. Very delicious. There's this guy knows what he's doing. <laughs> They're so good. We are in our hotel room. Um, this is the view, um, which is really amazing. Uh, Frankie really scored big um, in getting this Airbnb. Okay. We are in the Alishan National Forest today, our very nice Airbnb host. Brought us up here for about a 40 minute twist and turn ride. We wake up at 3.30 this morning, so Anna uh, took a little nap on the way and got a little car sick. Folks out here are selling some things like coffee and whatnot, so if you wanted to get that, you could. There were quite a few people out here, a couple tour guides, but it was nice to kind of get a visit. We're gonna walk around the trails today, hopefully see some more animals and get some fresh air and enjoy the scenery. So you can see some more beautiful mountains in the background behind me. We're on the one of the trails here. And what's interesting in every trail, there is a train station. So you can see the train station in the background. Anna and Frankie are walking around back there. And I guess at just about every trail, there's a train. So we can hop on if we want to, instead of having to walk all the way down. That's how we can get Anna to walk the trail with us. So we just hold her hand. Ah. Both of us. She wants both of us. Baba. Hi. Hi. We are in the bamboo forest part of the trail. And what's amazing is it is so quiet except for the buzzing of mosquitoes here. So make sure where your your uh, bug spray. All these lines mark a change in elevation. I don't see a key, but usually it's 10. Sometimes it's 100. Let's hope for 10. And then here's another sunset spot. We're gonna take this trail right now. This little one <laughs> compared to this. So behind me is a ruins of the Shinto Shrine. Apparently when the Japanese <coughs> occupied Taiwan from 1895 to 1945, 18, yeah, 1895 to 1945, they tried to spread their Shinto religion. So all that's left are these kind of cornerstones and I think there's an arch somewhere around here. I can't really. All right, here in Alishan still are uh, Benichu and uh, we're swimming by this uh, really pretty fern really quite large. Um, it's kind of hard in pictures to get how large things are, but if you look uh, next to the stairs, 
Another thing that you, we see a lot of is that if you see in the distance over here, this leaf that's just shaking, it was shaking a little bit more earlier. We see a lot of that. We'll go to the forest and just one leaf out of like, the whole scenery is just like shaking uncontrollably. And it's like, is that the wind? Is there a bug on the end that's like playing? We don't know, <laughs> but it's just very interesting to see and pretty. Okay, so here we are at the end of the trail. We walked about 900 meters or so. You can see the train station, the funky train station in the background and a beautiful sunset happening. It's about 5.30 and we walked through some beautiful bamboo and a lot of stairs, but we're here and Anna thoroughly enjoyed it. I think Frankie enjoyed it as well. He's taking some beautiful shots of the sunset. Did you enjoy it, Frankie? Yes, it's great. And it's a really quick walk and pretty accessible for most folks. And I think it would be good for anybody while they're visiting Frankie. So this is a lot less busy than when we first went. This is the train station. Um, kind of the area that you have to go through when you are walking back from the train. So they have all these different stalls and this is kind of the only place that you can buy anything out here. So they have a 7-Eleven up here that I'm about to uh, head on and they have like your typical eggs and things like that. It was a lot more busy though, like I said, on the weekend. They also have some cookie shops there and they have a couple of restaurants. These restaurants and things close up pretty early and the only place that you can eat is 7-Eleven or the, there's a restaurant underneath 7-Eleven. For diapers, the only place that we could get them was at 7-Eleven. There is no Watsons or any place that you can get anything from uh, from this area. It's so small. This is the train station. They have a little restaurant here that you can eat at. And then this is the actual area where you catch the train behind me. So anyways, that's the train station. I'm heading to the bus stop right now. Alishan uh, National Forest 7-Eleven and it is the kind of place to be. You can get all kinds of food here and that's how it is for most 7-Elevens. There's a nice changing room and two bathrooms and a, uh, a family bathroom so that's nice and if you come on a bus you can get half off admission. So definitely get a ticket. It's a little yellow voucher that the bus driver will give you. He'll stamp it and then you can get a half off ticket admission for the park. So that's really cool. But we're here at the 7-Eleven. I'm about to have them heat up some of these cocoa Hi. Cur curry sandwiches. And it's famous. She's getting, she's getting some folks that are yeah, saying hello. And, uh, and so we're gonna have them heat up these cocoa curry sandwiches in the microwave they have back there.